Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. I wanted to give you a breed overview today of the Barred Plymouth Rock. I've got three of them that uh, came up to say hi to me here. This is pretty typical of them. Very friendly breed. Um, loves to be handled. They are beautiful little black chicks with white spots on their head when they're first uh, hatched. As you can see, they uh, mature with a, a larger comb. Um, their comb, waddle, their ears, everything is bright red. Their plumage, gorgeous um, black and white feathers. And when you catch them in the sunshine, there's a gorgeous little green or blue or turquoise color mixed in there that you catch. Um, they're very friendly. Uh, they can be lap chickens. They're very docile. Um, they would rather, uh, you know, love than fight. Uh, and they're not fighters. Where we've got some other breeds like the Rhode Island Reds that really want to peck at each other and uh, really want to, I don't know, uh, uh, fight. These girls will, uh, if they're high up in the rank, they'll kind of make a gesture like they're going to peck them, but they won't peck them and uh, just very docile, friendly birds, uh, gorgeous. Um, they start laying, ours started laying at about 18 weeks. They're very early for, uh, for the layers that we had. And uh, I don't know, 18 weeks. Um, they say that there are 200 to 300 eggs. I would bet that 250 number right in the middle is probably, you wanna peck my ring? That 250 number is probably a really good number. Um, I'm guessing that most of these girls give me four to five eggs. So that four and a half eggs a, a week um, is probably about right what you're going to get. Uh, five eggs a week, somewhere in there. They're very good layers. Brown eggs, uh, medium to large. Uh, they do have some good size, consistent eggs. Um, they're... I have yet to see them go broody. Um, we've been told they're broody, they can be broody, but I have yet to see that. And we've had our girls for, well, we've had five of them for a year and a half, and now we, we got another 15 this spring, and they've done really well. Um, not loud, these are good, quiet, Quiet chickens, where some of the other breeds can be a little louder. Um, just fun chickens to have around. Uh, good layers, good foragers. Um, they handle hot weather well. We've had temperatures up of 100 degrees. Now, obviously, you want to keep water and you know to help them keep cool. But uh, they're they're good with that. We've also here in Minnesota 20 below zero, so um, they've got some nice fluff. Uh, in the back, and they are able to stay warm very well. Um, trying to think of what else. Just good all-around chickens. Uh, good layers. Good uh, meat chickens. We have yet to we have yet to cook one, but uh, very good layers. Um, that's about as loud as they get. That one just laid. So uh, that's about as loud as they get. Otherwise, they're more of a squeak or a a coo almost. Uh, one thing, uh, as they age, they get a little duller in color. We noticed uh, uh, they would get a little gray, and then uh, uh, when they molt, uh, they get some of that black and white color back. Also notice that their tail feathers are, uh, I don't know, a couple inches long. When they go through molt, those tails get longer. And when they're out walking around, They'll get that new tail stuck way in the air, uh, and they look kind of nice. Anyways, a beautiful breed, uh, the Bard Plymouth Rock. I would recommend it for anyone who's looking for good, docile, free-range, good layers um, that aren't loud. There, that's as loud as they get, uh, and everybody does that when they lay an egg. Anyways, so if you got any questions on the on the uh, Bard Plymouth Rock. Um, Put them down below. Please like uh, the video if you can, and uh, if you uh, get a chance, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. Hopefully this has helped you, and uh, 
hopefully you'll add some uh, barred Plymouth Rock to your uh, to your flock. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.